Hi folks, I'm doing a very short version. I've done a longer version on YouTube, but this is um, the quick version. Um, just a few questions that I think they still need answering. One, and I think this is very important for those who are especially supporting them. The question you should be asking, and I'm surprised no news reporters asked her this, is has she turned down anyone um, for a charity? Because there's a report that somebody of mixed race was turned down because she wasn't, in her opinion, or the charity's opinion, ethnic enough. Now, I don't know if it's hers turned her down or if it's someone from the charity has turned her down if, or if it's even true. I mean, as I say, it's an allegation. It doesn't mean it's true or not. But I think that needs to be asked. Uh, it, did this happen or has it happened to anybody? Does she has she turned down women in the past? Or um, the second one is obviously is um, how does she know what people's ethnic backgrounds are? Does she ask them because I can't know her to ask your family history is a form of abuse. So how does she that can we ask how she does that? How do, does she question people or not? Or is it okay for her to do it? The third one, obviously, is why she releasing private conversations when she's supposed to be a charity work for abuse women. When one would imagine, I suspect, one would imagine that most charities, if not all, would have a policy of never discussing any private conversations because, obviously, client or not, people have to trust you and it's going to... People aren't going to be able to trust this lady, are they? I mean, I think that's the end of that charity because how can women go to her? Um, I mean, the obviously, the question is, why does this charity only um, look after certain women of certain ethnic backgrounds? Now, I'm not anti doing that, obviously, because if certain... You know, if somebody's from certain countries and might not be able to speak English... And it does help to have charities to look after people who can't speak English as a native language or struggle with it. Um, but in this case, I don't think that would be relative, you know, point. Uh, because I'd imagine the people she's dealing with all can speak English. I might be wrong. Uh, and I fail to understand why why it's necessary to have search, uh, to look after certain people. Um, but yeah, that's those are the questions. I mean, like I said... And the other one, I mean, you know, if she wants to dress up and fetishise about pretending to be African, which she's clearly not, um, you know, because that's up to her. I mean, uh, I suspect, to be honest, she's like a lot of middle-aged women who are a bit flumpy and she hangs around with a young, very attractive girl. I presume when that's her daughter and I presume she's getting, like a lot of women of a certain age, the um they're no longer getting the um looks and the daughter's obviously very attractive so dressing up pretending to wear a little you know a little cosplay outfit probably makes her feel better so I've no objection to that if that's what makes her feel better but yeah I think questions need to be asked and by the way it's not race if you're telling me it's racist to um discuss things about her. The question of ethics or morality or whatever, or question, did she record this conversation or how has it been, you know, has she just got a good memory or whatever. If you're saying I'm supposed to treat her differently to somebody who's white, that's an odd thing to say. It's also very odd when I'm seeing white people say, you know, telling black people, or saying they're racist for questioning her. That seems rather odd. But anyway, yeah, I think... Um, I think there should be questions asked and they're not being asked. But that's the main one, I think, is has she turned this person down or has the charity turned this person down or indeed anyone? And if that's the case, I'd argue very quickly that it doesn't matter if somebody's racist or not. I think somebody turning a vulnerable woman down uh, who could be murdered by a boyfriend or husband um, just because it's not, in your view, the, the ethnic enough... Um, because, you know, they're not worthy. I think you know, that makes that person far worse than any racist, to be honest. I might be wrong on that. Um, but, yeah, th those are the questions to ask folks.